Hello there, welcome to the British Museum here in London's Holborn. It's a fascinating place. I haven't been here for about 20 years, but let's take a look around. Now this colossal lion you see here comes from a tomb in Turkey and is estimated to be from the period of around 300 BC or so. Absolutely amazing to think somebody all those many thousands of years ago sculpted this. What you can see here, right here, is the Rosetta Stone from ancient Egypt. And it contains many languages on its inscription. Now I've got to say, this is one of my favourite exhibits here at the British Museum. It's a baboon from the 1400 BC period. And I just think it's very, very cute. It's from the 18th dynasty in ancient Egypt. I think it's just so cute, it's so ugly yet somehow so sweet and very cute. Now this one here has very big significance. It's from around 640 to 620 BC and it's from the Assyrian campaign in Iraq and depicts pictures and events from around the river Tigris. Now here is the marble head of the Roman god Apollo. This was found in Rome in about AD 120 to 140. Very detailed face. Well I hope you're enjoying your visit here to the British Museum. There really is so, so much to see. And I'll try and get as much as I can of it to give you a taste of this wonderfully fascinating place. Now these are perhaps for me some of the most interesting artifacts because a lot of these belonged to private citizens. Just their own property, not simply members here of the royal family or emperors, but just your everyday person. I think one day we might drop something and it could end up in a museum. Now, some of you might be interested to know who this is. This is just the marble head of an old man from the Hellenistic period, from the second century BC, but I think it looks more like Bill Oddi from The Goodies. You remember Bill Oddi, the comedian? Some of you may have heard of him. Looking him up on the internet. What you see here is the tomb of an ancient king from a region which is now in Turkey. He died in about 370 BC. It's been excavated and is here in the British Museum. It was the ancient kingdom of Lycia. So very detailed and so very historic too. Must have seen a lot over the years and a lot of stories to tell. This is part of a frieze from the Parthenon in Athens, in Greece. And here we can see, in this part of it anyway, this section, two pairs of girls, and they're each carrying between them a peculiar trumpet-shaped object. I won't even ask. statue from around AD 50 from Rome and it depicts a youth celebrating his victory at sport. Well, it really is an exhibition here in the British Museum. The place really spans all the continents, pretty much, of the world. 
I've already been to the Middle East, I've been to ancient Rome, Europe, ancient Greece, and now we're in North America. I find it intriguing, and this really is so much history under one roof, in one building. You've got to check it out. Very, very human-like, these figures. This is a goddess from Sri Lanka, from between the 7th and 8th centuries AD. Stunning. Well, here we have a statue of Buddha standing from North India. <coughs> this is actually from the 17th century and was a competition between teams of courtiers. And they had to submit paintings in pairs for appraisal. And it looks like it could have been painted yesterday. Amazing. Well, this really is a tour of world history. We are now back in ancient Egypt. Here we've got the naturally preserved body of a man in his grave from about 3400 BC. As you can see, he's surrounded by all his possessions, well, at least many of them anyway. It's almost quite eerie. I mean, he is naturally preserved, but I don't think he quite looked like that when he was alive. But there is something slightly eerie about it, but... Interesting all the same. This is a bronze cape that was found around a skeleton in 1833 and it's estimated to date from around 1900 to 1600 BC so that's the early Bronze Age and was found in Wales. Here's the helmet of a Roman legionnaire soldier. They were here in the first two centuries AD. Well, we came into this room earlier and I thought we'd pay a visit again because it's probably the most controversial room in the whole of the British Museum. It houses what are commonly known as the Elgin Marbles, although they're actually the sculptures of the Parthenon. They're brought back by Lord Elgin in the early 19th century from Athens to England and now the Greek government and many of the Greek people were very much likely to be returned to Greece. It's quite a subject of controversy. They've certainly been looked after well here in the British Museum and preserved. But of course, many of the Greeks naturally claim that they are their property. What do you think? Well, that's the British Museum here in London, Tobin. Please do come and pay it a visit. It's fascinating and an intriguing insight into world history. Like many of Britain's museums, it's absolutely free, so please do check it out. And also, if you can, do leave a donation. The people here work extremely, extremely hard, and it really is a fascinating place. So please, come here, pay it a visit. You will not be disappointed. I only showed you a slice of what there is in this video. There is so much more. See it for yourself. Thank you. Thanks for coming with me. Bye-bye.